this easy to make cordial has become a staple of hospitality among Nords as it is commonly offered to guests and family in small glasses as a welcome warming nip and in bottles as a gift. This recipe suggests that we serve the cordial in lemonade during warmer seasons, and given that it's the middle of summer, we found that it was our favorite way to actually enjoy the cordial. It does say a splash in the recipe, but we found that actually about a 50-50 was much tastier than just a tiny splash. Of course, this can also be served by itself, and we found that it's really good on its own, but be really cautious because the brandy does tend to separate from the wine mixture, and you kind of end up with wine at the top, brandy at the bottom, which can be for a, quite a bit of a surprise if you're not expecting it. I also tried mixing the cordial with a little bit of 7-Up just to see what it would taste like. And I think the key to this drink is mixing it with something that doesn't have any real sweetness to it. The lemonade we chose didn't have a lot of added sugar to it. And I think that's the best way to serve it. So the 7-Up really didn't, it was just too sweet, I think, ultimately. And um, the cordial itself is already sweet enough. So I would not suggest. Overall, I would highly suggest this cordial from the Skyrim cookbook. It's one of my favorite drinks that we've made so far, and it was a big hit amongst friends. It's not super sweet, but the high alcohol content and is really good. And then when you mix it with like something like lemonade, it just, it's perfection. I would highly suggest this particular drink. And that's all for today's video. If you like this, let me know in the comments. Have you tried it before? Let me also know in the comments, and I'll see you all next time.